to fuel economic growth here in Springfield. And sponsoring our segment today is the Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance. But joining me are Molly Lamb, the Executive Director, Center for State Policy and Leadership at the University of Illinois Springfield, as well as Bruce Summer, the Director of Economic Development and Innovation at the University of Illinois Springfield, also a member of the Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance Board. Thanks for having us. Let's talk a little bit about Innovate Springfield because this is kind of a first, a first of its kind here in town. So what's it all about? Yeah, it, it's a business incubator and a social innovation incubator. We started about six years ago with the Community Foundation for the Land of Lincoln, which is right across the street here in downtown Springfield. And then we, three years ago, we brought it over to UIS with a more sustainable path for growth and many resources, not only of UIS, but the whole University of Illinois system and the Illinois Innovation Network. And we are outside the building now, and this is kind of a temporary uh, place for, for your business incubator startups. So let's talk a little bit about the social innovation aspect of it. Thank you. Social innovation from the start has been about advancing the health of the community in the Springfield and Sangamon County area, really building up the most vulnerable populations. So this really started with key community stakeholders and partnerships and best leveraging of resources, taking a look at the steered by a community uh, continuum of learning leadership council that still exists today and still very much collaborative. United Way of Springfield Community Foundation of the Land of Lincoln, Greater, greater um, Springfield Chamber of Commerce, the Innovate Springfield, which also has the Center of State Policy and Leadership. So this steering committee pulled together and commissioned a study and a report that then was born and coined the first roadmap for social innovation as a part of Innovate Springfield, which was Sangamon Success. And that has 25 recommendations that's themed around evidence-based programming, uh, developmental stages, parenting, evaluation, looking at innovation, so what's working in the community, what needs to be changed. And so now we fast forward back in to 2021 and it's still enduring a, a pandemic in which we've been able to look back the fi past five years on these 25 recommendations to understand the progress and what's working and what's not. And, and we're really excited to be able to come together with those same key stakeholders in the community and all the ser pro social service programming across the community to really understand what do we want to do with social innovation going forward, what's 2.0, and success going to look like? What other uh, social determinants and data are showing um, us about complex problems that we need to be focusing on the community to really elevate and bring an advanced change um, and help problem solve through um, and helping the most vulnerable in, in our in our communities. Yeah, she's kind of hit on some of the goals here, but tell me, what are, what are the goals to you? of this whole project? Yeah, e economic development and, and advancing the community. One of the things that when, when I came back to the community, I grew up here, found we, we have a scarcity of first generation entrepreneurs. And what that leads to is a narrow economic path. So what we do here on the, on the economic development side is incubate business ideas and businesses. So that means anywhere from startups in, in technology to healthcare to government services. Right now, we have just over 100 members uh, that scan all across various uh, uh, sectors. And w the, what we're most proud about in that way is, is the impact that we've had over the last, well, I'll give you the last year's statistics. Again, about 104 members. We've created 200 full-time jobs from those members, about 180 part-time jobs. Of those, uh, full, of those total jobs, half of them are women, and about 170 are from minorities. Oh, wow. And so uh, one that then, why this matters to our, our population here in town is we've created just about a million dollars worth of salaries out of those and about 17 million in revenue that gets taxed and then it goes back into the economy. So the future's bright here. Yeah, and, and the growth rate is really incredible. And we really look forward to then advancing that even further as we move into an innovation hub. So we're, we're at about 7,000 square feet here, uh, here on the square, and we're uh, ne then building about a 30,000 square foot space to expand all these activities, as well as social innovation, education, and public policy. So those seem like very um, great numbers, great statistics here for this program. What do you attribute the success to? Yeah, we're very proud of those, and we're, we're, we're very optimistic about growing those in the future. Uh, we have excellent programming and mentorship, uh, our, our co-starters, our, our co-workspace, but 
probably the most of our partnerships in the community, like the Springfield Salmon Growth Alliance. They've been supporters from day one, not only financially, but in leadership, directing and bringing other community members uh, part of this. Without that, we wouldn't be anything near that. So we're extremely excited about that future relationship with them as well. Okay, so if people want to learn more, maybe they're interested in, in also getting a startup and, and working here with you guys. What's the best way for them to do that? Uh, InnovateSpringfield.org and, and check it us out at UIS as well, UIS.edu. Okay, we're just going to try to keep fueling that economic development here in town. Such a great partnership that they have going on with the Springfield Sangman Growth Alliance, who's sponsoring today's segment. And if you have any questions, maybe you want to learn a little bit more about what they're doing here in town, we'll connect you at our website, CILiving.tv.